Hey guys, this is Mrs. Delgado coming at you with your very first art lesson. This first one that we're going to get into is actually more of me getting to know you guys. I don't know any of you and you don't know me, so there's a lot, a lot of stuff that I want to learn about you. So we're going to do something called a data drawing. We're going to get a little bit mathy. So first of all, what is data? Data is actually a math term, and it means facts and statistics collected together for reference and analysis. But what does that mean? Data is basically just information. So data can be used in maps, in graphs, and in pie charts. And data is actually even used in social media and streaming. So data is used even by Netflix and YouTube. They track how long you're watching something or how often you watch it, and they use that to decide what to recommend for you next. So there are actually two different kinds of data. There is qualitative and quantitative. So qualitative data describes something, the quality of it. So think adjectives, a brown dog, a small bag, a fun party. And quantitative data is information that is numerical, the quantity of something. So think numbers. I am 20 years old. I have two legs. I have one dog. And just because there's two different kinds of data doesn't mean that those don't overlap sometimes. You could have some information that is both qualitative and quantitative, like I have one brown dog who has four brown legs. So really, what is a data drawing? Well, a data drawing is a way of converting that information into a work of art. So you take data and you assign it shapes or colors or lines, and then you use that to draw something. Super cool, am I right? So what are you going to use for this assignment? Well, I'll give you guys three options. You can use the old fashioned thing, paper and markers, crowns, or colored pencils. Or you could draw directly into Seesaw. Or you could find a digital drawing app that you like, like Autodesk Sketchbook or Paint. What you're going to do is go through the slides that I'm going to show you right now, and you're going to draw the lines, shapes, or colors that apply to you. So don't forget, draw big. Fill your page or your screen up. Don't be afraid to let things overlap. Remember, art doesn't have to be exact. Art is supposed to be fun. So don't worry about mistakes. And I'm going to show you how I did my data drawing. I chose to do it on paper and with markers. But I also have a video of me doing it digitally if you want to see it there. So let's start with the first one. How old are you? You're going to add as many dashes along the edge of your paper as your age. Like these. So here I go. I'm old. So I'm going to draw 26 lines along the edge of my paper. After that, you're going to answer the question, are you a morning or a night person? You're going to add a warm color crescent for morning that would be red, orange, or yellow. Or you're going to add a cool colored crescent for night that would be blue, green, or purple. So I'm adding an orange crescent because I'm a morning person. Only when I've had my coffee though. And 
and you can see that I chose to overlap my crescent onto my dashes. You don't have to do it like that, but that's what I wanted to do. After that, you're going to answer, do you have pets? You're going to use as many shapes as pets you have. Triangles for cats, circles for dogs, squares for any other kind of animal, or if you don't have pets, skip this step. So I'm drawing three triangles And then I'm going to add one circle because I have one dog. And you can see that I put two triangles closer together and one farther apart. That's because two of my cats are super close to each other and the other one is actually more close to my dog, which is why I chose to overlap their shapes. Next, what's your favorite season? You're going to draw an organic shape, that's a fancy word for blob, in the color of your favorite season. Spring is green, summer is orange, fall is red, and winter is blue. So I drew a red blob. because fall is my favorite. Next up, music, PE, or art. What's your favorite? Draw a line down one of the edges of your paper in the color of your favorite. So music is red, art is blue, and PE is yellow. So I'm going to draw a blue line because art is obviously my favorite. Next, do you like TV or reading more? Draw a jagged line for TV or a curvy line for reading. I like both, but I do like TV more, so I'm going to draw a jagged line. Next, are you an introvert or an extrovert? If you like to talk and interact with people a lot, that's an extrovert. Draw the line with corners in it. Or, if you prefer quiet and staying home, that's an introvert, draw the swirly line. Or, if it really depends on your mood for the day, you can combine the lines. So you can see that's what I chose to do, because sometimes I really like talking to people, and other times I just kind of want to stay home. What's your favorite color? You're going to draw another organic shape. Remember, that's a fancy word for blob. In your favorite color. My favorite color is blue. So I'm going to draw a big blob in blue. For this one, I chose to fill it in, but not fill it in all the way because I like the messy look. Do you prefer salty or sweet snacks? Draw a squiggly line with the color. Salty is green, sweet is purple, both put yellow. I'm doing green because I prefer salty.
What are your after school activities like? Add as many shapes as you want for the activities you do. Art, square, TV or games, a diamond, reading or writing, a circle, and sports or outdoor activities, a crescent. So the thing that I do the most is draw or work on my art. So I'm going to draw a bunch of different size squares. And then I'm going to fill in some of them and leave some of them empty. Then I'm going to add some diamonds because I like watching TV too. I'm also going to add some circles because I like to read sometimes. Finally, I'm going to add just a couple of crescents because I like to go outside, but really not that often. And there you go. That's my dad drawing. So what elements of art do you think that we used? If you were listening closely, I said a couple of things a lot. I said line a lot. I mentioned a lot of colors. And I also mentioned shape a lot. So those are the three elements of art that we really focused on for this one. Can you read a data drawing? After you've submitted everything, check out the supplemental class site or the class Twitter later this week and try to read what each other's data drawings say. If you like this lesson and you want to check out where I got the idea from, you can go to the TED Talk by Georgia Luffy. I'm going to put the slideshow into the description of this video so that if you need to look through it as you're working, you can. Make sure that you upload to Seesaw, and if you're not able to get into Seesaw, go ahead and email me your data drawing. Have fun, and remember, stay safe and stay positive.